What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Sukoden 4. In the last part, we got, uh, we, uh, got attacked by snow as little, I don't know, ship of vagina pirates or vag vagina soldiers or something. Oh, no! Wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button. And I talked to the wrong character. And I gotta go to to uh, Nest of Pirates because that's the closest place to where we have to go right now. Go inside Kika's room. Okay, let's try recruiting her again. Nope. Not at this point. Yeah, Vicky's uh, blinking rune is uh, probably most useful, uh, you know, item got right now because it really cuts out all the sailing you have to do in the game. So the next place we have to go is how much it's islands. It's simple enough if the controls will allow for it. And if we can't get, if we can get into as few fights as possible, I had to pretty much re, -re I had to redo like some of this game. So I'm just gonna auto fight this. Yeah, I'm using Sigurd right now because I need somebody with like a long range attack. You can also use magic and Sigurd fit the bill perfectly. There's a lot of just straight out melee characters in this game. So, uh, you're gonna run into a lot of just brute force characters. Here we are, Sir Alan. Welcome to. This will be our first time here as well. So even so, I believe we'll have help you somewhat. I'll go too. All right. Yeah, why not drag those two along? Now I think there's a few enemies in here. There's only like two or three. Thing is, they don't. I was gonna say they don't pop up that often. <laughs> and we have our first new enemy, Wild Leaves, and they came in a whole pack. Yeah, I don't think they have all that much HP, so you're gonna counter them a lot. I've never seen them come into a drove six. Normally they just throw like one or two at me, but this time they decide to throw six. Uh, they pretty much fundamentally work the same way as uh, I'm trying to pick up one enemy. Uh, wild seaweed early on in the game. This might be the other one. Yeah. Our new enemy, Demon Wolves. They don't have all that much HP. Like, they probably have like between two and three hundred. I'm leaning towards lines of three hundred. Because I've seen uh, the main character just one shot a lot of these guys. Whoa. Is this really the house that the tactician Eleanor lives in? Man, what a dump. This is no place for a human to live. What an inconsiderate thing to say. Huh? 
You think you can just come barging in here saying that this is no place for a human to live? This is beyond rude. Explain yourselves immediately. Uh, no. What I mean is... Uh, sorry. <sighs> so it's you. No, my name is Agnes. I am Lady Eleanor's pupil. I also take care of her. I received word from Lady Kika. Please, make yourselves at home. Well, thanks. But we came to see Miss Eleanor. You like meat, yes? What? Well, yes, of course, but... I will bring some food and drink. Please, have as much as you like. I shall go and get Lady Eleanor now. Uh, yes? Listen to me, Hervey. Don't drink too much, okay? You won't be able to warn Dari about his drinking if you do. I know. Someone call me? Freaking goofball. And if you learn nothing else from other Sukuan games, don't Looks drink. Looks like you did well. When they were such simple people, you. so it was easy. <laughs> I've always said, people are better when they're simple. Yeah, they're easier to give orders. Now, now, what did you want with Eleanor? Uh, I can't eat anymore. Definitely simple. And just what did you want to discuss with Eleanor? Uh, uh, fight with Kuluk. Ugh, more talk of war. You can fight it out amongst yourselves. I've had enough. How about you? You want war too? Beat Cray Trading Company? Oh, that's my justice. Won't let them catch any more mermaids. <laughs> Crane. Oh, I see. Graham Crane. <laughs> now I understand why Kika sent these guys over. Looks like Eleanor's special drug isn't very effective on you. I'm impressed. How about you and I have another round inside? Go ahead, drink. Don't worry. There's nothing weird in that one. It'll clear your head, so gulp it down. So basically, Kuluk has joined forces with Cray Trading Company. That explains what happened to Ilya the other day. I hear all these things. Even in a place this secluded. So what is it that you want me to do? <sighs> Listen here. The tactician Eleanor Silverberg died a long, long time ago. Who are you, Eleanor the Drunk? <sighs> But if you plan to bring her back from the dead, you'd better be prepared to pay for it. So how about it? Let's see how determined you are. Behind this building, there is a cave. Bring me everything in the box there. If you do a good job, I will consider helping you. Now hurry up and go. All right. Simple enough. Go to place X to pick up a box of crap and uh, return it to the grumpy old drunken lady. Simple enough. Uh, looks like she had enough presents to give me back all my charges in that. So where we got you know is here. Uh, 
Oh, no. So you want to play shot for shot, huh? And the next boss. Horned a bit. Him. And I immediately counter for 145 damage. Not too bad. Uh, wrong move. Turn our deal. Hits like a back truck. Well, that was anti freaking climactic. I must have been over leveled. That horn air room piece. Not too shabby. Dang it. Uh, double-edged sword. <laughs> Absolute annihilation. <laughs> Got 4,000 gold now. Not too bad. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a level up out of that deal. So it's in the deepest part of this cave. Which looks like a big old freaking line. Got a green bottle and a crest. Nice. Time to go back to see Lady Eleanor. Hopefully with no encounters. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to return here eventually. I'm not 100% sure. Another new enemy, Fossil Beast. <laughs> Dies in one freaking shot. <laughs> yeah, I could really use some better defensive weapons and items. Well, not so much weapons, but armor. General. But the thing is, uh, I could, you know, just drop the house on frickin' items like guard rings and stuff like that. It would make the game a fair bit easier, but make it almost too easy. Hand the bottle over to Agnes. Alright. Hand it over to Green Bottle. Okay, Agnes. Serve that to the guys outside. It'll make them feel better. Yes, milady. You, give that to me. Cranky old bitch, huh? I didn't expect you'd actually do it. Very well, then. I've seen how truly determined you are. A fight against Kuluk and Cray Trading Company won't be pretty. Are you absolutely sure about this? Is that so? Well then, it's my turn now, isn't it? A promise is a promise, I suppose. But let me drink a little more. And we got Eleanor and Agnes. The uh, thing about those two is that can't use them in your party. So that's one little warning. These two girls are very much like Apple and uh, Matthew. They said they want me on the ship. Don't worry. The restorative works very well. I want their left. You guys are terrible for taking them away. She rarely trusts people. I'll be joining her if she doesn't want So it's back to the ship. If I can get into as few fights as possible. <laughs> so it's like 200 health. Dang it. Son of a. Two of these guys. And they really don't do all that much damage. <laughs> so 
So that's pretty much. Well, there's one other character we could get here. I don't think we got to later. Would you like to return to ship? Uh -oh. Okay. Let's return to it. And there's Lino. I wonder what the frick he's doing there. I'm gonna anchor and explore the ship. Go to the second floor. I think the next place we have to go is warm. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, this ship is your home base. <laughs> it's decent. Lady Eleanor, a room has also been prepared for you. Thanks. Don't forget to stock my room with wine. It'd be great if you have some from Kanakan. Anyway, enough pleasantries for now. Let's get down to business. To even stand a chance against Kuluk, first we'll have to unify the small forces on the islands around here. In order to do that, we have to have one strong leader. Let's see if you're a real leader. There are probably many here who would rather follow the king. Are there? I wonder. I know. You will settle this now with Lino and Kuldus. Sire, would you also be fine with that? Yeah, we only need one leader. So now we're gonna okay, get to play with first, him. we'll see how things go. After we get warmed up. Okay, first we'll see how... Oh, great. Did give me a heal. Come on, let's see what you. <coughs> it's my turn next. <laughs> Better be prepared for the. <coughs> and. Guard on that special. Guess I'll start getting serious. I think I'll save my energy a little. <laughs> Better be prepared. I'm gonna guard that. <laughs> Better be prepared for the next. I'm gonna use full power guard. Just, you know, just to be wasteful on this guy. Okay, okay. Stop. I give up. Everyone, listen up. As of now, the current king of Obel will temporarily abdicate the throne. You are our new leader. I, the former king of Obel, acknowledge you. This is proof of your kingship. Use it wisely. From now on, he's in command of this ship. You are to obey his orders. So we just became the leader of the ship. Nice. Now Alan, we have to give the ship a proper name. Oh, I forgot the name has been named before. Name for a ship, huh? How about a yummy name like Chicken? I prefer the Dauntless. Uh, let's go with the Dauntless. Dauntless, huh? That's a pretty classy name. Next, we should decide a name for the group. This isn't Obel's Navy anymore. 
war, you'll need new name people fighting together against Cook. How about Rush? How about we call it Allen Army? Uh, the Rush. Okay, then shall we get going? It is the emergence of Rush, so look sharp. All hands launch the Dauntless. Now that we have full control of the ship, but we can really just go around and you know just start recruiting characters left, right, and center. Were you satisfied with my performance? Sorry. It was an unfriendly role. But it wasn't enough to just make him leader on this ship. Everyone would still end up deferring to me, the king. I had to give him more authority. Besides, I would always put the kingdom first. Right now, you can't have that. It's uh, probably a better idea for you to keep a rather low profile, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> but you don't really look like a king, so even if we were infiltrated, you'd be the last one they'd suspect to be king. <laughs> you might be right. Anyway, thank you for your commitment to helping us. Let me formally welcome you aboard, Lady Tactician Eleanor. <laughs> Quit it. You're making me blush. I've got a little history with Cray. That's all. So with all that said, I think it'd be perfect spot to cut the part off and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.